besides fostering your own religious dynasties, building school ministries and everything, the only other thing some of you daddies in the Lord have added to national development is yearly churning out of prophecies and declarations. Oh. Nigeria, this year thy glory is upon thee. It's your year of abundance and that amen. That year, 800 people killed in Borno, ah. 1,000 killed in Play 2, people killed in churches in Taraba, in Benue, 1,000 displaced in Benue, a church attacked in Francis Xavier in Owo. Everything, a bus loaded with Christians going to camp or going to a convention, kidnapped with men of God. Uh -huh. In that same year, a lot of the woman, one of Mrs. Eunice Olawale, who was killed sometime in Abuja, I think July 9, 2016. What happened to the killers of that woman? What happened? Did you hear prosecution or, or, or arrest? No, 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 no. no, we move on. But we continue to support the government and we continue to make declarations and continue in this kind of religious rhetoric and innuendos when you know it has not moved the country forward. Daddy, how is it possible that a government will be able to run on prophecies and declarations when you do not even run your own ministries on many prophecies and declarations? Mm. A government that is a secular state that might even be made up of unbelievers. You believe that the anyhowness in government will be co will be corrected by prophecies and declarations. When your own ministries, if you look at the successes of our religious institutions, you will see a deliberate attempt at accountability and building success. Have you seen any church university come to say that we are prophesying that this year we will have 1,000 first class graduates? No. no. There is a, a track record. The instructions, it comes from general General Overseer, AGOs, provincial, zona, parish, well diocese, aligned. well aligned. You see that there is deliberate attempt to build success, but somehow you believe that governments will be able to run on prophecies and declaration. If that is the case, so what prophecy is building the economy of Saudi Arabia, of China, Japan, and the rest of them? Even Israel does not protect its nation by prophecies and declarations. That's all. And then you come, you continue, you declare upon us, you are led with pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire at night. But daddy, amen. But daddy in the Lord, you are not only using pillar of cloud by day. As a pillar of cloud, you are also using bulletproof SUV. Mm -hmm. So you are using double factor authentication. Imagine. If bulletproof SUV does not, if the pillar of cloud does not work, the SUV must protect you. Yeah. Aside yeah. that, you also have armed security men protecting you, protecting your wife, mama, protecting your children, extended and nuclear family. But we are only able to use the pillar of cloud by day. And I'm not against people protecting their lives. If you are a public figure, you should take your personal security seriously. Definitely. But my dear brother, no life should be more important than the other one. We are all the same human beings under God. If God gives you the opportunity to enjoy such luxury and affluence, the honor should be on you. You should have the moral and spiritual obligation, my daddy in the Lord, to at least help us that you hold leadership accountable, that they do what they need to do so that at the minimum, we, your own flock, and the average citizens who may not be able to afford the sophisticated security that protects you, we should be able to live in safe communities communities yes. and neighborhoods. How about now, Daddy? The unanointed should not die as a result of bad government while the anointed continues to befriend and, you know, romance with the same politicians who put the unanointed in that precarious Daddy. situation. When you see the statistics in the nation, what, how does it bother you? You see, as I am reading, even on news on this thing today, 15 million children out of school. An entire generation of people have no opportunities to be educated. Oh, okay. And it is not a problem to you. Maternal mortality, child mortality, all of the issues, sexual violence and the rest, child labor. People are risk risking their lives through Sahara Desert to leave this country. Oh, and you goodness. come out to keep telling us that we should do this, you should, uh, Saul will come, David will come, we should help support the new government. Daddy, where exactly is your humanity? Hmm. Where is your conscience when it comes to the issues that affect the average citizens in this country. Exactly. Since yourself and your family are insulated from this entire rubble. How about now? As we are seated here talking, you are Muslim, he's Christian, he's Christian, yes. I am Christian. But looking at your face, I do not relate with you whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian. Amen. Because as I look at you, I may not have seen God, but I have seen you. And I know that what is good for me is also good for you. Yes. And that should be the important thing to us. What Nigerian news are calling on is not that government should be killed or politicians or should all be destroyed. But give way for competent people to take charge. Let there be shared prosperity. The inequality gap is too high. 
line, across vertical and horizontal lines. A few are living in too much luxury and a majority living in extreme poverty. It should not be so. And if these things do not bother you and you hide under the garments of religion to continue pushing this hypocritic rhetoric and innuendos, then it is a shame on you and you should be disappointed mm -hmm. in yourself. We must do better as a country and live a better society for the younger ones and generation behind us. May Nigerians rise up and do